we're going to make a very strange spice cake recipe. It's called magic cake, mystery cake, tomato soup cake. I did some research on it and back in the 1800s, it was a basic spice cake recipe. People used to make it with things like zucchini or carrot that was mushed. Um, yep, this is made with tomato. Before you cringe at the thought of tomato soup as a cake, first of all, it used to be made as a loaf, loaf cake, which is pretty much the same as any carrot cake or zucchini cake or squash cake, pumpkin cake. All of those are using fruits or vegetables. Uh, it's because back in the long time ago, people had an abundance of fruits and vegetables and they had to do something with them besides just canning them. They would make breads and pies and things. It sounds strange, but it makes sense. You could even think of banana bread. Who would have thought it? There is a frosting that you can put on this. I don't eat frosting at all, uh, but it's cream cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla. You stir it around until you can spread it and then you just put it on the top of this and it is good, but I don't like frost. Before I do any cooking, I need to get my assistants out of the kitchen. Hey guys, let's go in the living room. Come on. These are the ingredients that you need, um, being flour, sugar, some sort of shortening, baking soda and powder, clove, mace, nutmeg, the original recipe that I found also used cinnamon, egg, and raisins, which we're going to swell in hot water. And this is the tomato soup that I made yesterday. So you have to watch that video. But that is uh, 10, a little bit over 10 and a half ounces. So it's the right, it's the right amount. I'm going to start off by greasing and flouring this pan. Normally I would use something like a cooking spray that has flour in it, but this recipe, the bread is very, or cake, is very, very dense, and I do need to make sure that I'm using a shortening uh, around the edge and then dusting it with flour. You want to set the oven to bake at 350 degrees, and it's going to cook for one hour. starts out with two cups of flour. And our little confession is that um, because I'm not using the can of soup, which is how I've always made this, and I'm actually just going to be using the soup that I created yesterday, it's going to be an experiment. It may or may not work. We'll see. Now we're going to add three spices and the soda. That's going to be a half teaspoon each. three full teaspoons of baking powder. And now I'm bringing this over to the stand mixer. This needs to be mixed lightly. The original recipe says that you should sift all of this together, but I'm not going to. 
To that, I'm going to add one full cup of sugar, two tablespoons of shortening, one egg, and the tomato soup, which would be equal to one full can of tomato soup you buy in the store. And I did pre-measure this so I knew that it was a little over 10 ounce. It doesn't matter how much water is in here, it's just to uh, put the raisins in and that's going to be a cup of raisin, which I'm going to put in the microwave to get them to plump up. I've drained the raisins, just going to make sure that they're kind of dry, not full of water. And by heating them up, it not only plumps them, but it also helps take out some of the strange stems and things that are left from when they package them. And we're going to just put it in the oven. I don't usually do an end screen, but um, yeah, it turned out really good. Yeah, I ate it. <laughs> Enjoy.